Um, today's webinar is for agents only. We're not going to talk a lot about specific carriers and products by name, but we're going to get into enough specific concepts that this is for agents today. If you're not an agent, please ask your agent to get with us and we can go over some of this with them. Um, if you don't have an agent and you would, you would like us to find somebody for you, we have a pretty extensive network across the country, so go ahead and give us a call, 480-998-1286. We will recommend somebody for you. So it looks like everybody's getting situated here, so let me go ahead and get started and talk about a couple of things. Usually, if you come to a Silverside webinar, we get into a little bit about the current environment, and right now, there's no bigger story in the current environment as far as it affects the life and annuity business, the products we have, and the features on the products we have. There's no bigger story than this number in red right here, 1.6% yield on the government treasuries, the 10-year treasury note. Uh, that is driving most of what we see as far as lower rates, lower caps. We're seeing carriers leave the market. We're seeing carriers leave specific segments of the market. It's a tough environment to offer a lot of benefit as far as fixed rates of return and caps and those kinds of things. Uh, so that's really a driving force we'll see, 1.6%. Uh, the last... 40-year average is well over 4% yield on those, so we're looking at less than half of a historical rate of return on the really the driving force uh, behind the investments that, are, that our favorite carriers are using. Also, another big story is the volatility in the stock markets, the equity markets. Today, the S&P 500, I actually took this 1331 number uh, about an hour ago, the markets closed down a little bit lower, had a really bad day, down 30 points. Uh, not a big deal. We've had some up and down days quite a bit lately, but the story here is high volatility without a lot of trend. We've been up and down through the, say, 7,800 to 1,500 range on the S&Ps uh, for the last 12, 13, 14 years. We're not really hitting, trending higher, we're not really trending lower, but we're seeing a lot of movement. We can talk the S&Ps, we can talk the Dow, it's going to be about the same uh, if we look at charts and those things. But uh, low rates, high volatility, that's really where we see ourselves and that's really driving a lot of what we're dealing with here. I picked up this chart here, don't want to make too much of the chart, U.S. Healthcare Index, don't want to get too much into exactly what that index is measuring, but the overriding factor is healthcare costs are going up. Not a shocker there. Uh, with a lot of the money we see the government spending, the deficits they're running, the 15 trillion or however you want to measure it, national debt, there's an increasing concern over how much of this healthcare cost the government is going to be able to help us out with. And that's kind of the theme of some of the stuff Grayson's going to get involved with is how can we help our clients protect themselves against rising costs and maximize their assets? And in return, how are we going to get sales in this environment by doing so? So it's not as tricky as it may sound, but okay, I'll back step here. Move forward one more spot. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit here on a particular uh, niche in the annuity market that I think everybody needs to take a look at in this environment. Life Health Pro has noticed that uh, annuity sales dipped in the first quarter. Uh, they've been consistently trending higher for the last decade or so. Slight dip, maybe no big deal, but why are sales dipping? Well, some of the stuff we looked at earlier. Uh, low rates. We're not seeing the S&P caps and the, the fixed rates of return that we were seeing two, three years ago. So generally low crediting and 
the volatility and a lot of the environment we see, I think, is making clients reluctant to tie their money up, which when you talk about a fixed index annuity, 9, 10, 12 year chassis, I think a lot of people consider, hey, my money is going to be tied up in this. I don't know if I want to do that right now. But one big trend in the annuity market has been income riders, because it's been a way for the carriers to come up with some features that show some value. They can use pooled risk and price on the aggregate and offer guaranteed lifetime withdrawal benefit riders, that kind of stuff, uh, to show some eye-catching uh, features we can still get our clients interested in and uh, we can still make some sales. But one problem with that is we've all been quoting to one extent or another different studies, different research that says 80 to 90 percent of people don't take income off their annuities. Now obviously if more and more percentage-wise are getting into income-driven annuities, income rider annuities, that percentage will go down. More people will be taking income. But on the whole, historically, over the last decade or, or more, one of the chief benefits of a fixed index annuity, or any fixed annuity for that matter, is tax deferred growth more than income. So with that, I will offer today's question. What if you could offer an FIA without an income rider? And you say, Rick, of course I can offer an FIA without an income rider. The problem is I'm going to have a hard time selling it. What, what features am I going to show that's going to get my client interested in making a major commitment with a significant amount of their money if I can't show them a roll-up rate and guaranteed returns and, and that kind of stuff? Well, there's still some stuff out there. There's still some more traditional indexed annuities that don't have quite as many bells and whistles as far as income riders. So I want to talk about one today. I'm not going to talk about it by specific name. I'd prefer if you go ahead and give my office a call. Uh, a lot of you folks on the webinar are going to know who it is because it's a company that Silverside actively promotes. But obviously, if, if we're going to sell a fixed index annuity that uh, doesn't have a feature like an income rider or a death benefit rider or something like that, it's going to have to address those two concerns we talked about earlier low crediting, and it ties the money up. Well, let's look. I have a page here, and I'm waiting for it to switch over for me. It's going to give some highlights of a product I think will really do that for us. Uh, in red here, this particular product has an immediate 5% bonus. Uh, pretty good crediting in this environment. 5% uh, bonus along with some of the other stuff I'll get into in a second here. But one of the really unique features of this particular annuity is the 10% penalty free withdrawal will accumulate to 50%. If you don't take a withdrawal after year one, you can take a 20% withdrawal after year two, 30 after three. That accumulates up to 50% after year five of the full accumulation value. It's a very unique feature and makes this, this annuity very liquid. This, it also has a, another kind of unique feature. A lot of our favorite indexed fixed products have some kind of minimum guarantee, but a lot of times you see it's on 87.5% or, or whatever the case may be. This particular product offers a 2% overall guaranteed rate of return on 100% of premium. And actually, as you can see, if you want to leave it in past maturity, it actually goes up to 3%. But let's talk about the the original chassis here. Uh, issue ages all the way at 85 with all those benefits. 5% bonus to 85. Those are hard to find in this day and age. And down below here are some of the crediting strategies. And I highlighted we, we can get into some of the some of the stuff, but to keep my time uh, under control here, I'll just point out it has a 4.5% S&P point-to-point cap, which is very high for a, for a major carrier in this market. Uh, look at a couple other things here. Nine year surrender chassis, this product has no MVA, no market value adjustment, which is kind of a complex feature of, of some annuities in this day and age, but generally speaking, that is going to protect your client from an extra charge if, if rates go higher and they surrender early. So that's a, that's a nice safeguard. 
The key to this whole thing turns out to be uh, we will illustrate a positive guaranteed surrender value after year two. So if your client says, hey, I, I, I want to do something with this sleepy money here that I'm not getting much return on, but I really don't want to tie it up even for nine years with that extra liquidity you talked about, uh, you can walk out of this product guaranteed positive after year two. And this is not a fly-by-night carrier here. This is an AM best. A category carrier has been around 170 years. They're probably a bigger player in the life business than the annuity business, but they have this annuity out there that will help you get sales from clients who are reluctant to tie their assets up in this low rate environment. Once you can demonstrate to them, there's really no tie up at all. They can walk uh, free after two years. They can walk positive after two years. Anyway, enough on that. Uh, we have some other themes we want to get into today. I don't want to bang on this too much. I'll go to my thank you screen, which prompts Grayson to get his desktop ready to show you some stuff. He is ready to talk to you about some of the best concepts and the best products in the linked benefit life and annuity business today that can offer your clients some value even in this low rate environment and help you get sales on that end. So Grayson, are you ready to take this? Absolutely. Okay. Let me uh, let me get this show started here. Hey, thanks for spending your time this afternoon on our webinar. Um, like Rick said, I'm going to go into uh, some of the asset-based care products out there and in such a terribly low interest rate environment and such a tough environment for sales. Hey, what you know? What are we going to do? How are we going to make some money? What is it out there that can give my clients? Money? Well, there's some currents that are that are matching up here, and I'm going to first show you what Rick and I think is a huge problem, a huge chasm out there in the insurance world, and then we're going to show you some ideas on how to bridge that chasm. I mean, really. And I'm guessing that most people involved in the webinar today have near retirees or maybe even retirees, seniors, super seniors, whatever uh, age group. But really, the 50 plus people should should be starting to take a look at what we're going to talk about today. And I'm going to I'm going to come at it from a 10,000 foot view. And I just there are a few basic concepts that I want to get through to you guys today. Any questions? I mean, please, Rick, put our uh, phone number up there. 480-998-1286, um, get some answers to your detailed questions, and we'll help you build cases for individual clients' situations, specific situations. But let me go at this from 10,000 feet. And it's really, a, we've got a different retiring landscape here right now in America. This is not my statistic. 70% of seniors are going to need some sort of long-term care. Not necessarily, um, that's inclusive of full nursing home, but that's not necessarily full nursing home, just some sort of long-term care. But 90% of them have no private coverage, and Medicare, Medicaid aren't going to be able to pay for this, folks. And I think, you know, when I do workshops around the country about this very same thing, everyone nods their head when I say the government's in trouble paying for your long-term care. Medicare and Medicaid are in big trouble. Okay, America's getting older and the costs, all these long-term care costs are skyrocketing. While, you know, some of the other costs out there, really some of consumer inflation is going negative right now. So it's, it's a strange situation, but at the end of the day, your clients are going to need some long-term care. They probably don't have coverage for it. So what's going to happen? They're going to spend their savings, their family's savings, and it can be devastating. So, like, when I'm, when I'm doing talks about, hey, you know, and I won't pick on anyone, but statistically I'll tell a group of 20 or 30 seniors, hey, 90% of you don't have any coverage. Why? Number one, call, number one response I get every single time is it's so expensive. And kind of an offshoot of that is, well, they feel it's expensive if they don't use it the money's gone and they can't handle that fact it's kind of like kind of like paying for home, homeowners insurance um, you know if your house doesn't burn down you all your, all your money's gone but the funny 
irony of it is if you were told that you had a 70% chance of your house getting burned down, would you get insurance coverage for it? Of course you would. And yet 90% of seniors don't have any coverage. But in their defense, there are some other reasons. It's, it can be really confusing. The private long-term care, uh, the, the standalone long-term care insurance, I do this for a living. I have a tough time with some of those contracts, reading all the fine print and making sure I know what coverage is. And a lot of the a lot of your ret retirees don't really want to go through underwriting. So that, that can be a big part of it too. I wanted to put it in a, kind of a visual perspective for you guys because this is really what's going on. I mean, there is a pink elephant and people don't want to talk about it. Government officials don't want to talk about it. Health care for retirees is going to be devastating to this country. Some people are talk, you know, talking about it like it's the next uh, financial disaster after the housing bust. But yeah, you've got in the uh, bordering on the 12th hour here, you've got a senior reading that his Medicare uh, benefits are being reduced and those health care costs are eating up everything he's built uh, through his working life. Um, hey, so what are we going to do about it? I'm going to I'm going to show you a couple different products, and and again, I want to come at this from kind of 10,000 feet because I don't want to get too worked up on the specifics and the numbers. This concept, really, but I, I will show you two individual products just so the the concept does take a little bit better shape in your mind. And we're going to show you an annuity because obviously an annuity already has some tax advantage status, tax deferred. Uh, but on top of that, another tax law uh, changed the first part of 2010, so retirees can take withdrawals from specially designated annuities completely income tax free if this is triggered for long-term care expenses. Now, maybe you've heard of this concept. Um, it is it is relatively new, but you, you know, it's starting to get quite a bit of press and the sales are up significantly for it. But the, the core competency of this concept is, hey, you're on our webinar because you want to learn something. Well, when, you, when you're sitting here like applying this to your own situation, think of some clients that you have, um, existing clients. I'm sure that there are some older annuities somewhere in your existing clients' finances. Well, just imagine you know, when they're taking money out to, to uh, put a new roof on the house or buy a new car, they're probably not taking from older annuities. They, the, the, the average senior understands, hey, if I take that money out, it's last in, first out on these annuities, it's going to be taxable. So a lot of times you build up this big tax bomb, then they don't end up taking any money out of the annuity. They pass away as a tax bomb for their kids. Well, with this concept, you can 1035 tax deferred into this specially designated annuity and make it tax free. So not only is tax deferred going to tax free, but kind of like those income riders that are really popular out there right now, there's a huge pool of the insurance carrier's money that your client can use for long-term care, also tax free. Um, this particular one I'm talking about is coming out of an A plus carrier um, and a tough economic times, that helps, obviously, talking to your clients. Uh, but it's a single premium uh, deferred fixed rate annuity, not, not an extremely complicated uh, concept there, but, but really the core competency, again, if you want to take one thing about a long-term care, asset-based care annuity, is you can turn tax deferred into tax free. Use that tagline when you're when you're talking to existing clients about this concept. Hey, do you have older annuities? Yes. Okay. Do you have private coverage for long term care? No. Well, let's take a look at this. We can turn tax deferred into tax free. So, um, like I said, kind of like uh, the income riders because there's a pool of not only your client's money, but you know the insurance carrier's money that they can use for long-term care. Um, this can be a joint annuity also, so that's, a, that's an important thing, and, it, and that in that situation that you have a couple, has to be husband and wife, where one of them has an older annuity just in their name, you can still 1035, like for like, uh, into this 
into this product, add the other spouse, has to be husband and wife, but spouse as an eligible person. So you can leverage up tax deferred, make it tax free, and they can both have coverage for long term care. There's the typical 10% surrender charge free withdrawal for whatever they want. They don't have to trigger the, the long term care income. Well, let's put some numbers on it real quick, just so it takes a little bit better shape in your mind. For example, Okay, you have a 65-year-old female client. Let's say she's got an older annuity. Uh, and when I say older annuity, I mean one that surrender charges are 3 maybe 4% at most. Um, that's easily justifiable with the kind of leverage I'm showing you right here. You can 1035 a $100,000 annuity. Maybe she only paid $50,000 for it, and it's 12 years old or whatever. Um, Obviously, that should be passed. Most of them will be past surrender charges. Um, but you 1035 that in $100,000 after one year of the numbers you're looking at right there, not a whole ton of growth for just her accumulation value. The, the, the value that will still be there, it's not if you don't use it, you, don't, you, you lose it. You don't lose it. Uh, that hundred thousand dollars, if she never has any medical issues and just gets called home in the middle of the night, that accumulation value is still there for her estate. Great, right? Here's the big thing: continuation of benefits with the insurance carriers adding to the pool for long-term care, and you're looking at turning a hundred thousand dollars into five hundred fifty thousand dollars tax-free for long-term care. I mean, a huge concept here, right, guys? And what if she did only pay fifty thousand dollars for it? You've got you've got five hundred fifty thousand dollars of tax free money um, that you paid fifty thousand dollars for. Show you at the end of ten years, and you know get with us. The the obviously interest rates across the board are coming down, but there's still some growth over time with this product. Um, but at the end of the day. Uh, there's a huge pool of money available for long-term care. So how does your client access that money? Well, a portion of it's going to be available in that last case I was just showing you. For 138 months, she's got tax-free income. Cover That would cover even the worst of the um, Alzheimer's cases you've heard about. Uh, but the cash benefit can be priced as an indemnity also. Uh, another one, there are a lot of other products out there like this, and that's one of the moving parts, indemnity or reimbursement. Uh, get with us if you, if you have a client in mind, and we can kind of build the case. But the trigger is a licensed physician or care provider signing off that your client uh, needs help with two out of six activities of daily living or they're cognitively impaired, not confinement, build services. Now, let me rewind uh, well, real quick, there's not a waiting period on this. So you, they don't have to have this policy enforced for five years before they can trigger it. And that's another one of the moving parts. But let me rewind for a quick second here. All the workshops I do, one of the things, it, it, just to put everything on a level playing field when you start to talk to your clients about this, make sure they understand, look, you don't have to go to a nursing home. When you start talking about long-term care with your clients as they are, are now, understand the, the first thing that's going to trigger in your client's mind when you use the term long-term care, first thing that's going to trigger in their mind is going to a nursing home. Horror show, right? Nobody, want, nobody likes that. Then what happens after the nursing home? They're gone, right? So it's a tough subject to talk about. Make them understand, look, with this new generation of products out there, you, you can get help at home. You could get this priced as an indemnity. Some of these products, you could, you, your client's just going to get a tax-free income stream. They could pay their grandkids to come over and help them. So the, the world of annuities and life insurance is changing. Okay. Um, the underwriting part of this, and you, you know, if you're on our webinar today and you typically sell annuities and you're, you're not familiar with a lot of the underwriting of life, insurance, underwritten products. Underwriting on this is simplified. Don't let it intimidate you. Just uh, medical questions on the app and a phone call. Okay, and we can, anytime we'll go into the specifics of that for you. Just understand, 
uh, there are moving parts. The typical asset-based care product that we're talking about here, as long as your client hasn't had serious heart issues in the last five years, and as long as they haven't had internal cancer in the last five years, whatever condition they do have is controlled, they're, they're probably okay for this product. So don't, don't let the uh, underwriting intimidate you. And on top of that, and Rick, there, we were talking about this before the webinar, there are several and actually a couple new ones, uh, annuities out there that require no underwriting. So don't let the underwriting be intimidating. Just get us your client's medical history situation and we can help you find the right product for them. Um, so hey, just to kind of sum up on the annuity side, you've got, you can uh, give your clients 550% leverage of their rainy day money and the, the, the basic premium doesn't go away. If they don't use it, they don't lose it. It's still there for their spouse, their kids, whatever the case may be. Leveraging up tax deferred and make it tax free. Use it as a catchphrase. When, you know, maybe you're going to use this asset-based care as a concept to bring new clients in. Um, tax deferred and tax free is powerful and yours, when, um, the seniors that do have standalone long-term care insurance are pulled when they're asked, why do they? Why are they paying for that? Number one response is they want to maintain their independence, right? Um, that's exactly what this is designed to do. And they don't, they don't have to go to confinement. They don't have to go to assisted living or nursing home to do it. They can stay in their own home. Um, the, the, write down some of these if it resonates with you as far as catchphrases when you're talking to clients. Hey, if you don't use it, you don't lose it. It's not like standalone long-term care insurance. And you can 1035 from older annuities and the, you know, maybe your client has a lar half a million dollar annuity from a long time ago. Well, with that kind of leverage, half a million may seem like overkill. That's fine. Partially 1035. Add your spouse as an eligible person without a taxable event. Um, so, and some of your clients maybe applied for standalone long-term care and got declined. We we can find a product for them guaranteed. Absolutely. Um, Rick, did you want to go into anything else about annuity before I tackle the life side, or what were you thinking? Well, why don't why don't you move on to annuity and or move on to life, and then we can sum it up with a couple of things as far as how agents can approach this if they don't feel like uh, if they feel like they're a little bit overwhelmed here or say, hey, I'm not an expert in all this stuff, you know, maybe maybe I'm getting in over my head. It's really not that way. This this stuff is is simple concepts. Yeah, there's a there's a there's all as always there's a lot of forms to fill out, but these are simple concepts that can really provide a lot of value. A absolutely, and that's what we're here for too to help you in building cases and and helping this in the sales. Now, I want to show you a life product. Um, not tons of life products out there, and different ones for different people's situations. We're gonna we're gonna show you one today. Before I do, I want to make sure. I keep referencing these workshops that I do um, based on long-term care and asset-based care for retirees. And I, I want to make this super clear. When you talk to your existing clients, if you're trying to acquire new clients, um, understand that their first reaction to you mentioning life insurance, I, you, sometimes when I stand up at these workshops, people will roll their eyes at me. Grayson, look, uh, I'm my kids are long out of school, house is paid for, well, I don't need any life insurance, what do I need life insurance for? And I really don't want to keep paying life insurance premiums, so what are you talking about? A lot of your clients will look at it that way, or a lot of potential clients will look at it that way. Anyway, the biggest point, if there's only one thing that you get from this webinar, write this down. Life insurance is changing, okay? And use that as a catchphrase when you start a conversation with your client about it. Hey, life insurance is changing. And first of all, it can be a single premium 
you know, you don't have to worry, you, your client doesn't have to worry about continually feeding a life insurance policy. Maybe, it, maybe they do have an experience with a, an improperly sold universal life product and they, they had the experience of having to pour money in uh, premium wise year by year while the, while the cash value and the death benefit were going south. Life insurance is changing. Let me show you one, okay? Same 65-year-old client you have, but let's say instead of an older annuity, she has a CD that's coming due, and she's not interested in the 0.2% she could get uh, renewing that CD. So you put her into this life product, 10% instant bonus. She's going to have $110,000 in net premium day one, and it's going to buy her, look at that next number, $186,000 of guaranteed, never to go south, guaranteed death benefit. You almost doubled her money overnight after tax. It's tax free. Think about that. What can you do right now to earn any money that doesn't require a lot of risk? Look at the stock market Rick showed you earlier. It's a train wreck. And you know what? It's probably next week it'll rocket higher and everybody will wish they bought it. I don't know. I mean, the volatility is crazy, but there's a lot of risk. Well, look at these numbers. $100,000 turns into $186,000 after tax overnight. At these interest rates, that's a lifetime of tax, of, of risk free uh, return. And you can do it in one day with this product. And people will say, oh, well, great, Grace. And that, you know, higher value of life insurance, there's nothing new there, but what good is it to me? $186,000 I have to die. Well, look at the next line. They don't have to die to use this. And when I say life insurance is changing, that's the biggest thing I mean. People don't have to die to use the life insurance. So maybe this lady has this $100,000 CD that she's not really planning on using for day-to-day -day income. Well, what's she going to use it for? She sure, sure would use it if she had some health issues. Well, she can still use it. She's not losing control of this money. $100,000 becomes $186,000. And she can use it, but she gets 33 months of $6,000. Tax-free income. She doesn't have to justify the expenses. She doesn't have to go to a nursing home. She just gets a check in the mail every month, $6,000. She can pay her grandkids to come over and cook and clean for her. I mean, what a great concept, right? I mean, it is literally a no-brainer in this terrible interest rate world right now, guys. If they don't need the money for day-to-day -day living, this is a no-brainer. And then, you know, if she never has any health issues, well, look, the, the estate gets that much more money tax-free. This thing is also indexed uh, growth without risk can index it to a worldwide uh, basket of stock indexes. I mean, it is a no-brainer for that if, if your client fits this kind of profile. Same sort of thing to get to access that money for herself, okay? A licensed physician signs off that she needs help with two out of six activities of daily living. She starts getting a, a, a check. Um, she doesn't have to go to a nursing home again. Uh, this, this benefit is an indemnity. She doesn't have to justify expenses. This particular one, there is a one-year waiting period. The, the policy has to be uh, enforced for a year. But if she's going to make it through underwriting, more than that's almost irrelevant. Up to $250,000 of that death benefit can be accelerated to the policyholder. So I just showed you $186,000. Um, that policy could grow, and she could still access she could still access the growth on on uh, on the death benefit. Okay, so kind of summing up again, you can instantly increase your client's estate while decreasing the estate's taxability. So the heirs, I mean, if you can get a uh, son, daughter, cousin, whoever's going to get the money if your client passes away, if you can get them involved in the conversation, get them because they love it. Okay? You can help your clients maintain access and control of their money for emergencies and monthly care expenses. They're not losing control of their money. It's not like old school life uh, life insurance policies where they, it, 
it doesn't do them any good. It's just protecting uh, their heirs. They can still use that money themselves. So, you know, when when you call us, when you when you describe to us a, a situation that one of your clients has financially and, and medically, we'll help you build a case. So many times, the money that your clients have or potential clients have that they really don't need for month to month expenses is in an IRA or 401k or some you know pre tax um, in in some pre tax pool of money. We still have strategies for that, and I'm going to show you real quick one of those that we have. So let's say let's take the same 65 year old lady that's a client of yours instead of a um, hundred thousand dollar CD or annuity. Let's say she has an IRA. She doesn't really need the money. She says that the only reason I would use this money is if I needed, you know, some help. So what we're going to do is transfer that to a pre-tax still immediate annuity. So an IRA transferred to an immediate annuity that pays out seven times, not six, not twelve, exactly seven times, and when that payout comes, it's going to feed a seven premium life insurance policy, just seven premium version of the one I just showed you, which was a single premium. I wasn't clear on that. It was a single premium without flexible premium. So that one I just showed you is, is kind of like a, well, I guess it's really an annuity or CD on steroids. Anyway, anyhow, now we're not avoiding taxes with this, okay? So uh, the example I'm showing you here, $100,000 IRA, 65 year old female, move it to an immediate annuity that starts paying out, it's going to pay almost $16,000 a year. She is going to get 1099 on that. Okay, so we're not avoiding taxes and pre-tax money can't go straight into life insurance, but this insurance carrier has this system automated. So you're packaging the two sales in one and you don't have to be at the kitchen table every year that that annuity pays out and make sure that your client writes a check to the life insurance to fund it. Insurance carrier has it automated so that instantly upon the first premium going in, instantly buys her $176,000 death benefit. Same situation. That is on a whole life chassis. So it is, it is, uh, it's a tax-free death benefit with no risk of going south. She doesn't have to, the, the, as soon as these seven premiums are done, she doesn't have to keep pouring money in. It's a no-risk death benefit. She can access that money herself for long-term care. There's growth without risk again. You don't need a Series 7 to sell this thing can be indexed for growth without risk. And you see the numbers. If the future equals the past, uh, that's how it would turn out after 10 years. Some, some excellent growth. I mean, especially in this, in this low interest rate environment, it's crazy. So you, you're really taking, it's kind of, kind of like a Roth rollover because you're, you're taking a pre-tax pool of money and, and turning it into after-tax money. Um, but it's it's kind of like a Roth rollover on steroids. You're spreading you're spreading tax liability out over seven years, um, and the the big thing is th that your client still has access to this money, right? They they have access to chronic illness benefit, okay? Um, because there are seven premiums, it's not a modified and uh, modified endowment contract. Don't want to go too far into that. Call us. We'll, we'll get more specific. Basically, what it means is there this seven premium life policy actually has even more tax advantages than the single premium life policy. But here's a concept. It, it's it really want you guys to 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 follow me on this. This is an important concept. Like people look at their IRA. Clients of yours, you, you yourself probably have an IRA. Um, that's not really all of your money. People look at it as, you know, I mean, even even younger stockbrokers get just getting started in the business. Um, friends and family will throw their IRA at the kid because they they don't really feel like that's their money. They have to pay taxes on it, and they think about well, when it does become my money, that IRA is going to become a 
a large IRA is going to become a smaller pool of my money because I have to pay the ta I have to pay the feds. So the concept of moving IRA money slowly into life that that concept isn't new. Um, you know, for wealth transfer, estate planning that that's not a new concept. But what is new is the access that your client's still going to have to that pool of money, to that life insurance policy, that tax-free life insurance policy. So follow me. You are taking a pool of pre-tax money and you're making it a larger pool of after-tax money. Not, not like traditional thinking. You take a pool of pre-tax money and to make it your money, after-tax money, it's smaller. No. We are taking a pool of pre-tax money and making it a larger pool of after-tax money. I mean, it's a, it's an incredibly powerful concept, especially when you consider that the, the policyholder can access that money for the only reason they were going to use it anyway, if they need help, if they have some, some uh, health issues. If they don't, that entire tax-free pool of money Growth without risk, as time goes on, too, is still there for their estate. So they're covering this horrible gap of long-term care insurance, uh, but they're, they're not paying to do it. They are simply posting some of their assets, positioning some of their assets in a better way um, to take advantage of recent tax law changes. Hey, the feds have made all this possible because they want people that can cover their own long-term care to do so. Um, so when you're thinking about your clients, think about where their money is, what sort of assets would your clients, and ask them this question. Actually, we've got a, we've got a questionnaire that I want you to call and get from us, and you can put this in front of your clients and say, hey, think about it. You know, Mrs. Smith, you're 65 years old. What if something did happen to you physically? What money would you use to pay for it? Because you don't have any long-term care insurance. What money would you use? Okay, great. So maybe that CD that we talked about or that old annuity that we talked about. Okay, if that's the money she was going to use to pay for it anyway, why would we not leverage it up tax-free the way I just showed you? It's a no-brainer in that situation. So what... Call us, get the get the questionnaire, and it's it's basically a one pager that asks the important health questions, where your clients are, and then uh, financial questions. Hey, what money? Where is the money that we, you would use to pay for this? And with that information, you f you sit down with your clients or potential clients, fill that out, and you can sterilize. You don't have to put exact name names or social security numbers on there or anything like that. Just get us the basics, fax it back to us, we'll help you build a case because there are a lot of different products out there, a lot of different strategies and your client's health situation and where their money is coming from is really important in, in, in developing a strategy. We're not presenting products, we're, we're not trying to sell you a product. We're trying to show you some products that are available, but at the end of the day, hey, what is your client's situation? Now let's find that product from our arsenal that that is that is going to fit their situation best. So that's that's kind of my deal. Four eight zero nine nine eight twelve eighty six. Call and get that questionnaire um, so we can help you build cases. Rick, do we have some some questions you wanted to address right now, or? Well, there was a few on uh, there was a there was a few that on specific state availability and uh, and specifics like that I took care of uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and some of the other stuff involving case design. Yeah, there was questions about qualified money, and you touched on that uh, strategies for qualified money. There are a number of them. Generally, what it's going to involve is systematically moving money from qualified accounts to non-qualified life or annuity where you can access it for care. Is, is the gist of that. So there was a few things along those lines. We can handle all those on the design uh, specifics off the asset-based questionnaire. I think the one thing I would, I would kind of emphasize here is 
whether your client has qualified money or non-qualified money or they have they're in great health or they're in kind of maybe me mediocre health their health isn't as good as it was whatever the case may be encourage them to do something and occasionally their best option may be standalone long-term care but encourage them to do something because as we've seen health care costs are going up and the government's ability to respond to them is going down so we need to all take it upon ourselves to, to maximize what we have to work with to, to handle these issues. Absolutely. And then, of course, I'll, I was go just going to say, all, all of your clients need to at least take a look at this. I mean, this is, this is huge, and I just can't emphasize enough, guys. You look at that leverage that we can, we can provide on the life policy. Somebody, somebody's almost doubling their money tax-free overnight in this awful, awful interest rate environment. You want to make yeah. money on any other investment, you got to take risk, period. Yeah, it would take years to double your money uh, uh, after tax. So I guess with that, we'll wrap it up here. I want to encourage everybody not just to ask for the asset-based care questionnaire and, and start making some of this part of their practice, but don't forget about that uh, traditional fixed index annuity. That's a way for you to get some sales and provide some value without tying clients' money up. Uh, it's something you can maybe go back and take a look at in two or three years on that one, too. That, that thing is by far the best fixed index annuity on the market today, by far. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It really is, and you, you're not using gimmicks or tricks no, or anything that like is, that. That is ridiculous. It is by far the best out there. Mm -hmm. So I encourage everybody to take a look at that, too. Uh, give us a call. We're here for you, 480-998-1286. Uh, uh, thanks for your time, Grace, and thanks for bringing all that information to everybody. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll, we'll wrap it up with that. Everybody take care.